welcome back to my channel, T Family Vlogs. Today I wanted to show you how to make a bow on an alligator clip. So the first thing that you will need is this mat here. Um, this is where you are going to lay your material out to measure it. And then you're going to need your measuring tool here. Um, and you can get all of this at Walmart. They usually carry it. And then you're also going to need your material cutter. Um, I bought this at Walmart too. It kind of came with a pair of scissors, um, which I don't really use the scissors, but there's that. You'll need that. And then you're also going to want to invest in a big little pack of um, hair ties. These are just little plastic hair ties. Um, this is what I secure my bow with, and I'll show you how to do that, but you'll need that. And then the material that I use is the Liverpool um, bullet fabric. It's stretchy, super cute, tons of prints. Um, you can get them off Etsy, Amazon, just kind of wherever. There's other websites too. I haven't really um, ordered off anything else yet. I've looked, but I just have not yet found anything that I really like. Um, and then you're also going to need these alligator clips. These are a little over four inches. Um, and then you'll also need some hot glue. So hot glue, hot glue bin. And then, so I've already cut my material. For these, you're going to want them to be 18 inches long. So I've already cut mine 18 inches long. And then you're going to want it, um, usually... The thickness that you want, I usually go with five to six inches depending on how old the child is. Um, this is for a little bit of an older girl, um, still young, but she's not toddler or baby. So I'm putting this at five. You could go six, but on bows, I don't go that big on the clip as far as that. So this one's at five inches wide. So. Once you cut yours, 18 inches long, you can go as low, I would not go any lower than three um, as far as the width. That is like, I like my bows bigger. Some people do not. Some people like them smaller. Personally, I like them bigger. I think they're cuter. But the lowest I go when I'm making bows for people is a three. You don't want to go any smaller. So once you get this cut out, you are going to want to flip it, so this is that way, and then, let me move this, okay, so then you are going to fold this to about four to five inches, yeah, that's about five, so, and then you fold it again, same width, so it looks like that. And then, you're going to want to take your bows, your little hair clippies, sorry, and you want to pinch, pinch, I always pinch it a couple times, so it looks like that. And then, you're just going to take this little rubber band, and you're going to wrap it around it. And sometimes I kind of like to put two on there just because sometimes the hot glue does bust that band open. But I've kind of learned how to secure it even without the band if it does bust. But once you do that, this is how it's going to look. You're going to have this extra flap. Um, I always kind of pull this, kind of straighten the, the little bows out. So that's how that is going to look once you get to that step. Then you're going to flip it, and then now you're going to take your little cutter, and you're going to cut off most of that extra flap. You don't want to cut off all of it, and be careful where you cut because you don't want to get the bow. And then you'll have to go back through and kind of even that back up. So then the back is going to look like this. So 
then once I flip that back over, you'll always have some you'll have to tuck under, like this little piece right here. You wanna tuck it under this. You can kind of cut it off, but sometimes it's really not worth the hassle. So, and actually I might end up cutting off a little bit of that because it's sticking out farther than I like. See how that comes out like that? I don't like the white showing. So you can take some of that, make sure when you're cutting it, make sure you're not cutting onto your bow. And just tuck that back under. All right, so that's what that is gonna look like right now. Cute little bow. Then this extra piece I take and I don't ever really measure it. I kind of just go off of what I feel. You don't want it to be too, too short, but I take off quite a bit of the chunk. Probably that's about two inches. And then I take a little bit off the top you want it to still be long enough that it'll wrap around the bow. So. so now that you have this little piece right here, I just take it, I fold it, that way you have this nice little piece right here, and then that is going to go around your bow. So when you lay it on the front, you want to make sure you have this all pulled out. Flip it around. And you're gonna wanna... I always kind of just lay it there, fix it up before I even hot glue. That way I can see what it's gonna look like. Um, so, once you play around with it and kind of get it how you want it to look, you're going to flip it back over and you're going to kind of want to fix this up. Now, once I have this laying down where I want it, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue. This can be a little bit messy. Um, and sometimes a pain, but yeah, and then that rubber band broke off, but that's okay. It'll be okay. I'm going to hold it down so it stays really well. Alright, and then I always pull that back up, tuck some more under there. I don't like this flap hanging up, so I always Add a little bit more under there. Alright, so now that that is done, alright, so put that out of the way. Now that I've super glued, or hot glued, I keep saying super glue, I'm sorry you guys, hot glue, this part is down, so what you're going to want to do is take this part, and you're going to want to just even this material out, that way it's not a total mess. And you're just going to want to... Hot glue, super glue, hot glue, whatever you call it. Underneath. So I have hot glued this piece right here on top of the other piece. So this is kind of what it looks like, and you're going to see this is going to come up. I always go back under this 
and hot glue that. That way you do not have to worry about that coming undone. I'm going to do it one more time because it's still kind of And I always hold that down for a little bit. Alright. So now that that is done, I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to kind of fix this. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to flip it around to the front here. And then I'm just going to lift this little flap up, just not a lot, but just a little bit to kind of hot glue that on the front side. You don't, you don't want to do a lot because it's just going to come pouring out and then it'll be a mess. Alright, so now that that has kind of sat for just a bit, you want to just take your clip. And you're just going to put it through the bottom there, so it looks like that, and there's the front. Alright guys, that is it for the alligator bow clip. Um, they are super simple to make, not much to it. Um, my tutorial probably is not the greatest, and I will learn it doing that while making bows, but I just get so caught up in making them. And I just forget that you guys need to learn. So here's that. Super cute. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe.